Grace and blessings to you, dear friends in Christ. I am Sister Clemens. Please join me in today's Gospel Power. When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they are good with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say to us, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The first place to go to when seeking God's will in any matter is one's own heart, where God speaks. The chief priests and elders of the people, despite their being professionals in matters that concerns God, forgot about this. Each one of them could have answered Jesus' question about the origin of John's baptism by entering his own heart and consulting God. Instead, they turn to one another and discuss among themselves the best answer that would protect their common interest. God was totally excluded from this consultation, for they were not concerned with the truth. Ironically, they who were considered to be the learned and wise ones of Israel claimed to be ignorant in this matter. This episode unmasked their hearts, revealing how far they were from God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, deliver us from any desire to take refuge in convenient lies to protect our own interest. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. 